Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this presentation of Aptora Software. Today we are going to take a look at the newest plugin for Aptora Mobile 2. That's called the Aptora Company Dashboards. Each of us knows that a little friendly competition will motivate an individual to be more productive and efficient, to produce, to reach out and stretch for all that we can achieve, and the Aptora Company Dashboards will help your company as well as your employees do exactly that. As you can see, I have a version of Aptora Mobile 2 running now, and down at the bottom of the screen, we can all see the option Aptora Company Dashboards, that company dashboards that I'm hovering over right now. When you click on that, I have another view that I can pull up that will show what happens. You'll be landed on a screen that shows these five dashboards. Company Sales Dashboard, Company Phone Activity Dashboard, the Company Service Agreement Dashboard, Company Employee Dashboard, and finally the Company Invoice Dashboard. So the Aptora Company Dashboards come with a total of 10, actually, 10 different dashboards that you and your employees can see and track different information. The Company Dashboards will show information by these different topics relative to all of your company as well as each of your individual employees, and we'll see that in just a moment. And then your employee dashboards, they will have their own view that you can or you don't have to choose to give them permission to see how they're doing in each one of these different categories. So we'll go ahead and take a walk through and then try to answer some of your questions and make sure that we give you as much information as we can about this great product that can help stimulate some business within your organization. So we'll take a look first at the company sales dashboard the company sales dashboard. Here on this dashboard, we can see that we're now looking at information specific to Pro-American Services. That's the database, the company that we are running right now. So Pro-American Services, we can see this year's sales, this month's sales, this week's sales. These are all hyperlinks too, so we can click on this information to open up more information about this particular topic or category that we clicked on and see all of that data, how the software came to that information. So here we clicked on that, and we can see a list of all of the different sales for our company. Now going back to our sales dashboard again, we can see also yesterday's sales, today's sales, the last job where a sale or an invoice was made. We can also see our quarter to date sales, as well as other information, monthly average sales. Now if we scroll down to the bottom, we can also see graphs and charts that outline all of this information for us by our employees. Now we can see here that there's nothing going on today, but if we look over for the month, we can see how Andrew Webster is doing, we can see how Amber McDonald is doing, Ashley Adams, Melissa Chesner, and that's all for the month and the year. We can hover over that to see exactly how many dollars that comes out to be. Now you'll choose what employees you want to see here and you can have a whole list of them. This is meant to be, really this product is meant to be displayed on one of these large big screen type of flat screen TVs. Most of you are probably familiar with what TV manufacturers are now starting to call these smart TVs. That doesn't re really mean of course that they're actually very smart but what you can do there is broadcast all of this information to those TVs. So you can control different preferences that will cycle through all of this information and keep it updated as real-time events occur out in the field. So a new sale is generated, you would be able to see that information here where it says sale last job, for example. And we'll see other information that would also be synonymous with this in our other dashboard activity that we have. Now we can also scroll down and we can see the employee sales versus company sales for the current year. It'll break it out by each month as we see down here at the bottom. And then we've also got our employee sales versus company sales for last year. It's gonna break that out by month again for us down at the bottom. So we have all of these graphs and charts, kind of an executive summary type of view, that report that you're probably all familiar with in Total Office Manager. We've basically got this pretty view of that and we can see again in real time everything that's going on in the field relative to sales here in our sales dashboard. 
Now I did mention also that we can toggle in and out of our different employees or our different sales reps right now. So we can take a look at Amber McDonald. It looks like she's ranked first. Here we can see that in sales for the company. She has 29,000 in sales, almost 30,000 this year. Doesn't look like she's done anything for the month or this week. We can also see the quarter, lowest gross sale, highest gross sale, different information like that. And then as we scroll down through, we can also see more of those graphs and charts that articulate to us exactly how she's doing by month, how other employees or technicians or sales reps maybe compare to her. And then we can just toggle through this list of all of these different sales reps. We can also see where they're at on the map. and That's also good information, see where that last sale might have come from. Now as we move over to the phone activity dashboard, phone activity dashboard, I want to preference or preference before I move on that this would be dependent upon having Aptura's caller ID software. So you do have to have caller ID software from Aptura in order to see any information on this particular dashboard. Want to make sure I put that out there for everyone so they have a good understanding of how the data comes to present itself on this dashboard. But here we can see all of our incoming calls for the day, the average number of rings it takes before the phone is answered, the average duration of the call. We can also see incoming calls, average number of rings again for the month and then for the year. And we can also see down here at the bottom the last 10 calls. These are all hyperlinks, so we can click on them, see if there was a sale made, maybe a work order generated. And then we can also see the last 10 outbound calls. So pretty straightforward, pretty standard, but you can be tracking your dispatchers, tracking all of those calls that are coming in, marketing campaigns, and different information like that. So that is the phone activity dashboard, very short and sweet. Let's move on to the service agreement dashboard. The service agreement dashboard. Here on the service agreement dashboard, we're on the company tab, if you will, showing the different information for the company as a whole. We can see our renewal rate, how many planned visits we have scheduled. These are hyperlinks as well, so we can click out to that information for it to show us or take us there in mobile, in our mobile software. And then we can see our pie chart graph with our expired, our active, and then our pending agreements that are out there, how many total agreements we've sold year to date, this month, this week, and today. And then here's our last 10 service agreements and the 10 big, biggest service agreements that the company has sold. And again, all of this is hyperlinked. We can reach out just by clicking or touching on this information. And if you have one of those smart TVs, you can imagine going up and putting your finger on one of these on the TV and it taking you to that information or that particular topic, in this case a sales rep or a customer, in your mobile device, but on your TV, from your smart TV there on the wall. So we've got all that information available to us and then again we break that down by our different technicians or our sales reps, whoever we want to see here. So here I've clicked on Andrew Webster. We can see his renewal rate, 0%. He needs to get on the ball. We can tell that maybe some coaching would be in order. We need to maybe have some time to spend with him to do some remedial type of training, make sure he knows what agreements we sell, that kind of good information that you, of course, want to be keeping your technicians up to date with, making sure they're producing for you. We can see his expired agreements, his active agreements, and his pending agreements, how many total service agreements he's sold for the lifetime of his employment with us. Looks like he does have 10 year to date, just not doing very well this month, not getting any renewals. So we have all of that available for us, again, the last 10 and the biggest 10, and we can just scroll through each one of these employees. Now there are preferences that you can set up for this product that will cycle again. I mentioned this earlier, but it can cycle through all of your different employees, your technicians, as well as your company company information based on preferences that you allow. So it'll refresh and then cycle through all of that information. Now as we move on to the employee dashboard, we can see specific information about what's going on relative to our employees. So up here at the top, we can see we're on the total company information, but here at the top we can see our current status, the last work orders, work order number 415 which was assigned to Ashley Adams. We can see it was scheduled at 9.45 a.m. 
there are no current appointments scheduled for the company today, no current location to project. That's all going to be synonymous with our GPS tracking features in our app. We do have an Android app available now that you can download. That works hand in hand with our schedule board mapping system and we can project these coordinates to a map feature that you can see on this dashboard. But you can see for the company, we don't have that information right now because there's nothing to display, no current location for pro-American services. But we can all go down to Ashley Adams, see how she's doing. This work order that we just saw was scheduled for her at 945. She doesn't have any appointments today. And we can also see how she's ranked according to all of her other colleagues. So she's third in total sales. She's fourth in service agreement sales and first in work orders completed with 226. So she's got total 10 sales, service agreement sales, and then 10,849 in total sales or revenue for the company this year. Good information to see hyperlinks we can click to send her an email or touch on this to make a phone call. So some good information we can see there. Let's go ahead and scroll down. We can see how Ashley's doing in other areas. Here we can see her last 10 sales, Ashley Adams, and we can see her last 10 work orders. And we just click on any of this information if we need to, to bring it up in the software. So let's go ahead and click on that last work order. We can click on this for Ashley. It'll take us over to the mobile application and show us that work order for this employee. And you can scroll through, as you saw over there on the left, each one of your different employees to see exactly how they are doing in a particular area. Maybe it's sales or service agreements or work orders. But you can just click around and find exactly what you're looking for. If you need more information, just like drilling down on a report in Total Office Manager, you can drill down and go find that particular record. Looks like it's taken a little bit for that one to load. Oh, there it goes. I can see it cycling through. So here we are over on the employee's details. We can see her contact information, user-defined fields, any document links. One of our newer features that you may not be aware of with respect to mobile is the ability to take those photos, upload photos straight from your mobile device. No more do you have to send them back to the office or your office staff to associate them to a record in the desktop software, Total Office Manager. You can do that all from your phone or mobile device now. You can see the upload file or upload photo, and you can very simply do that. Something while we're here I thought I'd mention. You can see the plug-in icon. Some of you might have already invested in Aptura Mobile Form Builder and are off and running with that great product, allowing you to import different editable PDFs or create your own from scratch. Using Aptura Mobile Form Builder, you can create technician checklists and a number of different things. Proposals, you come with five. It comes with five different editable PDFs that you can reuse for your own company. So that's just a preview of things that are already out there. Maybe you didn't know about the Aptora Mobile Form Builder. So going back to the employee dashboard, that's how we jumped across to, uh, let's see, Ashley's employee record. But we can just touch on any of this information. I think that's pretty standard, and everybody probably has that now. So we'll go to our final, our final dashboard, and that is the year's sales list. So this is a list of all of our sales for the year. And again, all of this is going to be updated in real time. So as soon as a sale is made today out in the field, we'll see that immediately on this year's sales list. And then if we need to, we can touch on that to view more information. So here we touch on that sales number, that invoice number. It's 416. And we can see who the sales rep was. It doesn't look like that was filled out on the form. That's not good. But it is number 416. If we want to see that, we can touch on that particular number, 416. It'll bring up that invoice for us. Here we are. The customer was James Madison with an ABC home warranty. And then we can view all of the information for this particular customer. All the way down, of course, to history, details, the items that were on this invoice. We have a very powerful mobile solution for anyone that may be with us that does not currently have our mobile software. Very powerful, very capable mobile software. So all of that from the year's sales list dashboard. Let's go ahead and move back. I do want to get rid of some of these dashboards here. And we'll go ahead and log out 
as the administrator and we'll log back in as a user for the company dashboards. So give me a moment to refresh my browser, log back in here real quick. One thing I do want to just mention again, I know I'm going a little fast here, the mobile app, the mobile application for Android devices is now available here at Aptura. If you have any questions about that or are looking for it, you're a current mobile user, there's no extra fees or anything like that. Just give your sales rep a call if you've not already done so and make sure they send you that download link for the mobile software. All right, looks like I do need a password for Ashley Adams. Let me go ahead and get that password in here. All right, there we go. So here we're going to go take a look at what the employee dashboards look like just so you have a good idea. Uh, my dashboards, you'll see that in line with all of the other My Preference options or data views that you have from the generic dashboard of Aptura Mobile 2. But when we click on that as a user or as a technician, we'll see the same five dashboards. So again, you get 10 dashboards with this product. And if you're interested in custom programming, maybe you have a different perspective on something else that you'd like to see. We do, again, most of you are probably familiar, offer custom programming services, and we'd be interested in at least having a conversation with you about developing maybe a custom dashboard or data that you might specifically want to see as an owner or manager at your company. So, of course, all of that through our custom programming services would be interested, again, to have a conversation about that with each one of you. So here we logged in as Ashley Adams will take a look at her sales dashboard. So we'll click on that particular dashboard to load it. Looks exactly like the other dashboards we were looking at, but all they can see is information that is specific to them. So you can already imagine keeping that competitive edge amongst your different technicians, sales reps, and employees. They can see how they're doing for a day, for the week, for the month, how they did yesterday, that kind of information, and always try to stay pushing and reaching out for more, like we said at the beginning. We all know that each of us has a little friendly competition, and that will motivate us to be more productive and efficient, to produce, to reach out and stretch for all that we can achieve. And the Aptora company dashboards will help your company and your employees do just that. Now, I won't go through each one of these dashboards, but before I conclude on the topic of friendly competition, one of our other newest products that you won't see in our software, we do have other products that we develop here at Aptora that aren't software necessarily related, and that would be our corporate wellness program. So maybe you are interested in keeping that health up at your company. Certainly healthy employees show up to work more frequently and have happier lives, and so we like to keep that going or have an, have an impact in that here at Aptora. So we developed our own company, corporate wellness program. All of us are a part of it, and uh, if that's something you're interested in, be sure to visit our website where plenty of information is available on that. You can get a good idea of how that works and how that might help your employees as well as your company. If you have any other additional questions, please feel free to follow up with your sales rep. All right. Well, we thank you for joining us for this Aptora presentation of the Aptora company dashboards. Thank you and have a great afternoon.